What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm bringing you a dark winter build that gives you 1.1 million armor on kill. Not only that, but you get amplified damage at the same time. So if that sounds interesting, sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But we are actually using two really, uh, really good named items for this build. So let's jump into the build breakdown. All right, so what I'm getting at is I am using the Dark Winter for my primary, but then I'm using the King Breaker for my secondary. So I'm using both of these with the build, and they both give me 1.1 million armor on kill. And we get amplified damage from the perfect spotter chest piece. So uh, we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves here, so let's start off at the top. Now, starting with the specialization, we are using the Technician Specialization. Now, the reason being is I am using the Linked Laser Pointer on both of my weapons. Now, what is that, you might ask? Here it is. So, the Linked Laser Pointer is a attachment that you can equip on the Long Under Barrel Rail. Now, you can only get the Long Under Barrel Rail on certain weapons in the game. <clears throat> now, for example... The Vector 45 ACP has this weapon slot. However, the, 40, the Vector SBR 9 mil does not. So it is specific only to this type of Vector. And luckily enough, we get the Dark Winter named variant from the 45 ACP. So we're using that with the named TKB 408 called the Kingbreaker. Now, the reason we're using the Kingbreaker is we need something mid to long range to go with our Dark Winter. So I will be using both weapons in the gameplay because both weapons will give me the same amount of armor on kill. Now, the way that I put this build together, you can use any weapon, really, and get the exact same armor on kill. The only thing I would... Uh, recommend is for you to aim towards something that has that long under barrel rail attachment slot that way you can use that perfect spotter to your advantage but it doesn't matter whatever weapon you use you'll get the exact same armor on kill now to get your armor on kill up even higher you could use something like the mop for example so this named shotgun would give you more armor on kill just for equipping it and then also I have preservation on there, so getting a kill would also give you more armor. So, um, you know, you could definitely spec even more into the armor on kill department. But I think if you go down that road, you might not have as much damage as you would with something like the Kingbreaker with, you know, perfect flatline or perfect killer from the Dark Winter. Now. Those are the reasons why I'm using these weapons. Let's get more in depth with these weapons. So starting off with the Dark Winter, we're sitting at 74.4K total damage, and that's only at expertise level 14. So I can get this 9% higher just from the expertise leveling. Now, as far as the attributes, we have max SMG, crit chance, and damage targets at a cover. And then it comes with perfect flatline, so killing an enemy with a crit hit will give you 50% more crit hit damage for 10 seconds. So you need high crit chance. Now luckily enough, if you go to your stats, we are sitting at 59% crit chance, which is 1% away from max. So if you fully max out everything on this build, you could hit 60%, which is max but we are hitting at 59 right now. Now going back to the killer, uh, perfect killer for the uh, Dark Winter, uh, all of the attachments and everything are all towards crit, uh, excluding that linked laser pointer to proc the perfect spotter. Now looking at the Kingbreaker, this is gonna be your secondary weapon again. Highly recommend you use this for the extra damage from perfect flatline. 
And just a reminder, Perfect Flatline will amplify your damage by 20% to pulsed enemies, and you are pulsing all the enemies you come in contact with because you have the linked laser pointer both on your primary and secondary weapon. Now, this Kingbreaker is sitting at Expertise 22, so I can get this 1% higher. It is uh, currently sitting at 104k total damage, with max AR health and damage to targets out of cover. Now, my sidearm, you can use whatever it is you want. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can use the Regulus for, for all I care. does not matter. Use whatever you want. But I just want you to note that your do to do if you go down to your armor on kill it doesn't matter what weapon or specialization i use you still get the exact same armor on kill and that's all that matters with this build but again highly recommend you use something that you can use with perfect spotter that way you get that amplified damage to go with it now enough about the weapons already explained that you you're well versed by now let's talk about the build now we are sitting at 2 million armor. So this is a tank build through and through. Now this build is not able to, you know, come together without the Ninja Bike Messenger bag. Now yes, the Ninja Bike Messenger bag weapon skin is still bugged to this day. So you're looking at the bonehead backpack skin right now. Um, but the Ninja Bike, exotic backpack, what makes this exotic so sought after? Well, two reasons. First reason is it comes with all core attributes. So it comes with a weapon damage and armor and a skill tier. So that means you can use this backpack with whatever build you want. DPS, tank, or skill build. Doesn't matter. Now, for example, in this one, we're using it for our tank build. But the second reason everyone loves this backpack is the talent resourceful. So it slots in with any brand set or gear set in the game to give you a set bonus. Now, it doesn't matter what set you have on, it will give you a set bonus. For example, we have one piece of Bellstone, so with the Ninja Bike, it gives us two pieces of Bellstone. We have two pieces of Hunter's Fury, so with Ninja Bike, we get three. Uzina, we get two pieces. And then System Corruption, we get two pieces. So again, this build combination is not available without that Ninja Bike. But looking at the Ninja Bike a little bit closer, everything's maxed out, all the core attributes, and we have a max crit damage mod. Looking at the Hunter's Fury pieces, now the Hunter's Fury gear set bonuses we get for this build, 15% uh, SMG damage, and then the armor on kill, but then we also get health on kill. As far as the attributes for this mask, we have max armor for the core, max crit hit damage with a max crit chance mod. The other piece of Hunter's Fury, the knee pads. This one, max armor for the core, max crit hit damage. Next up, we have the System Corruption. Now, the System Corruption gear set bonus we get for this build, 15% armor on kill. For the attributes, we have max armor for the core and max crit hit damage. For the gloves, we have Bellstone Armory. Now, the Bellstone Armory brand set bonuses we get for this build. We get 1% armor regen, which is amazing for your survivability, but then also the 10% armor on kill. Now, for the attributes, we have max armor for the core, max armor regen, and then max crit hit damage. And then finally, the closer. The closer is the named Uzina Gedeka chest piece with perfect spotter for that talent. Now remember, Perfect Spotter will amplify your total weapon and skill damage by 20% to all pulsed enemies. Now as far as the Uzina brand set bonuses we get for this build, 5% total armor, 10% armor on kill. For the attributes, we have max armor for the core, max armor regen with a max crit chance and crit chance mod. Uh, but yeah, not too shabby. That's your build. We have uh, SMG damage from the... Hunter's Fury. We get amplified damage from the perfect spotter. We have armor region on the chest piece and gloves to go with that bellstone set bonus. We have the armor uh, on kill bonuses from everything, excluding the ninja bike, of course. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Now, looking at the skills, you can use whatever skills you want. I promise you it doesn't matter. 
for me personally, I am a run and gun player. I like to run and gun with my head cut off, just shoot stuff. You know what I mean? Um, I love it. That's how I play. So with that being said, I do that with the Defender drone, which helps mitigate uh, damage that's incoming. And then I have the decoy. I just put that down because I'm running around with my head cut off. It gives the NPCs something, you know, to aggro against. But both of these are tier two because of my specialization giving me plus one skill tier, but then also because I get a skill tier from the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag. Now finishing up with the stats, this is going to be for the Dark Winter. 74.4k for the weapon damage, 24.8k for the PvP. We're at 59 crit chance, 105 crit hit damage, but remember, we get 50% more crit hit damage once we get the perfect killer to proc. 70 headshot, and then don't forget about the damage to targets out of cover, and the amplified damage we get from perfect spotter. Uh, offensive tab, uh, we are sitting at 39% all weapons damage bonus with 45% SMG damage bonus. So every time we are using the Dark Winter, we are sitting at 84% damage bonus total. Gear talents, we are using Resourceful on the backpack and Perfect Spotter on the chest piece. We have over 2 million armor. We are getting over 1.1 million armor on kill with 30k armor regen per second, 343k health and health on kill with health regeneration. And then on top of that, the 10% explosive and hazard is due to my watch level. So here is my disclaimer for all my build videos. I am sitting at shade level 5031. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now, if you are at or above shade level 1000, you can copy and paste my build and get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1000, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out. Therefore, when you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers might not add up. It's okay. Don't freak out. It's still a great build to use. But just note that once you hit shade level 1000, you'll get the most you know potential out of your build. It's not a requirement. I'm just recommending if you want you know the highest numbers possible, make sure you reach shade level 1000. But that's it. That is the build. I hope everyone has a great Sunday. I'm going to show you PvP and PvE gameplay with this build. Yes, with this build. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And yeah, just have a good rest of your weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Again, Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care, everyone. Peace out. And like always, roll that footage. Up. Uh, Starting this gameplay session off, we're going to do some PvP. Now, I don't typically use armor on kill builds in PvP, but for those of you asking, I'll just go ahead and show you what it's like. Now, I'm going to be doing this. We will be at Capital Ruins, and we'll be playing Skirmish. Now, just a reminder, I am using the Kingbreaker with the Dark Winter. Uh, perfect spotter with um, the Ninja Bike, giving us 1.1 million armor on kill no matter what weapon we use. Now we do have damage, however, remember the Dark Winter, you don't get that extra crit until you kill an enemy with a crit hit. So we are gonna have to work on that or switch to the Kingbreaker. We'll see how the uh, enemy team plays. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Yo, look at the Santa hat, dude. Oh man, Christmas in July. Let's go. All right. Wish me luck. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Better. Two, one. Have the go. Run out oh. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Make sure I put the one in the chamber. All right. 
I'll probably start with the Kingbreaker, get their armor down, and then switch Rogue to the Dark Winter. Do it that way. Hostile Defender Drone detected. Rogue Mender Seeker Mine detected. Hmm. Hostile Mender Seeker Mine detected. I don't see them. I think I saw some sort of uh, bullet from the center. Maybe not. Oh, I see. System curtailed. Oh, my armor, my armor region. Snap, they're on you. Ooh, skill build. Damn, dude. System reactivated. All right, we have skill builds. Agent down. Let's see. Hmm. Going around. I like that armor on kill, baby. I really do. I like that armor on kill a lot. That was nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so start with the Kingbreaker and then I'll switch to the Dark Winter. Do it that way. Ooh. Hold on. Ooh. Boost. About to come online. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Holy moly, that was a lot. I had to pop three med kits for that one sticky bomb. That's ridiculous, dude. Got it. All right, we have damage. Go, go, go. Pushing fence. Rogue explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Push, push, push. An agent needs assistance. Rogue hive detected. Hostile hive detected. Got him. Armor on kill, baby. Oh, shotgun. That was a shotgun. That was a shotgun. Watch out for that. Oh, never mind. Oops, skill build, skill build. Back up, back up, skill build. I don't have any med kits. He took three of my med kits earlier. I'm trying to shoot the base of it. Now we're up by five. I'm not gonna push that skill build in the spawn. No bueno. No bueno. <clears throat> oh, snap. Where was that from? Where are you at? Oh, I see you. I mean, I'll just shoot from far away for no reason. Why not? supply drop has been arranged for you. Yeah, game over, man. They're just sitting in their spawn. <clears throat> Rogue defender drone detected. He's shooting behind decoys. Defender drone A lot. Detected. Way back there, damn. Run! Come on. All right, you're about to have special in three, two, 
One special ammo. The specialization supply drop has been claimed by an ally. We're up by five. Keep it going. Go, go, go. I'm coming, burn. You're the only one up there. Rogue stinger hive detected. Oh no, they got you with the shock. Oh shh. With they got you with the shock again. Damn, dude, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they got you with the shock again. Oh my gosh. That's horrible, dude. Hopefully they come out. Hostile. Explosive seeker mine detected. halfway done. Mm-hmm. Still at by five. Alleyway, alleyway, alleyway. Got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kingbreaker, bye bye. Another one. Got him. Oh, nice. Thank you for the help. Nice. All right, now we're up by seven. Oh, one just backed out. Yeah, it's game over, dude. Oh, someone brought out the mortars. Trying to get him out of that spawn. Oh! Nah, they got me. They got me. Maybe it'll flip the spawns. Oh, someone just backed out of ours? Oh, snap. Oh, come on, guy. Flip the spawn. Flip the spawn. Come on. Flip it. Flip it. Ah. Uh, GG's. Good game. Just doing this for a gimmick anyways, just to say you could do it in PvP, but it turned out to be a good game. Except for that skill build. Damn, he got you with the sticky too. He's got me with two stickies this game. It's crazy. Alright. We have damage. Mender Seeker Mine detected. Hostile Mender Seeker Mine detected. The boost is being taken by allies. The boost has been taken by allies. Even while I'm on fire, bro. Even while I'm on fire, bro, get off me. Oh my god. That armor on kill just saved me. Oh my gosh. That was funny. That was funny. Oh, they have a full squad now. We're only up by five. And they're not even coming out of the spawn now. Explosive seeker mine. And I detected. still have no med kits. Sucks. Explosive seeker mine detected. Ooh, snap. He almost got me with another sticky. Oh my gosh. flip. Nice. GG's. Nice. Armor on kill build. It's PvP. Let's go. Alright, now I'm going to show you some PvE gameplay, so I hope you enjoy the PvE gameplay coming up. I'm going to be doing a Heroic with four directives uh, using this build. Hey, got MVP. Look at that. With an armor on kill build. Look at that. Let's go. GG's. If you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, come on, hit that thumbs up. Seven, one, and three, 24 million damage. All right, let's jump over to PVE gameplay. PVE, let's go. All right, 
So for the PvE gameplay, we're going to do a classified assignment. And this is uh, one of my favorite classified assignments, to be uh, frank. Let's see. Inspect. Ba-boom. National Bond Armory. Now we're going to do this on Heroic with four directives. Now before we get started, what directives you might ask? Cool skills, fog of war revisited, fragile armor, and ragers. Here we go. Now again, this is the National Bond Armory, and we are doing this with the Dark Winter Kingbreaker build with armor on kill. All right. True Suns have this area locked down. You're gonna need to breach the entrance. I'm gonna blow up the door. And just because I can, I'm gonna blow up the top door too. Do, do, do. Right, here we go. them to hit me that way you can see my armor on kill because every time I get a kill I, my armor is like near max it's amazing look at that every single time I love it oh, I'm on fire oh snap snap crackle and pop give me a second Breaker here. I want to show the uh, armor on kill, even with the team breaker. Oh, come on, bro. Just take the L. There we go. Hostile radio Look at that. intercepted. Not bad. All right. Secure the vault. We can't afford to lose that ordinance. Because that. remember, I do have the armor on Smart. kill and so I have the uh, armor on the same time. So that's where you need to go. With some damage too, might I add. You've got uh, the perfect killer for the Dark Winter, but then you have perfect flatline for the Kingbreaker with the perfect spotter, which I think really makes this thing shine. Perfect spotter with the uh, three-piece Hunter's Fury. It does give you some pretty nice damage. And then we do have 59% crit chance. To help us out with that uh, killer. So you can see it increases our crits up to, I think it's 319. Yep, yeah, 319 for the crits. Oh, nope, up to 425. My bad. 425. That's the highest crit I've seen so far. There you go, 425 again. And that's with 2 million armor. There we go. Secure the aerial. And then for the next area, I'll use the uh, Kingbreaker. That way you can see the gameplay of both. Open the door! Jump on the rope! You and your bloody rope! Dude, I miss Boondock Saints. I'm gonna have to put that movie on tonight. Do some throwback Sunday. Some Boondock Saints, man. I don't know if you guys know this, but when I started my channel, uh, we were still living up in Boston. So we would do a lot of Boondock Saint references. Back in the early days, in the early streams, when we were up there shoveling snow and shit. <laughs> All the good old days. Everywhere right now. Seconds. Go. Armor back. Look at that. With one kill, I go from like freaking out to oh no, I'm good. Two kills on that max. Oh, 
that open. Use the king break. Ah! Oh, snap. Yo. Get me over here on the right, homie. Look at that. With one kill. It's nice. I like that armor on kill. It's not full everything armor on kill with preservation. It's nothing like that. But we do have enough uh, damage, you can see, to, you know, go through heroic running gun with ease. I mean, this is pretty fun. And then look, I'll let them hit me a few times so you can see the armor on kill with the King Breaker. Come on. Oh, dude, shoot me. Let's go. And they're running away. Come on, bro. There you go. There you go. Alright, boom. Look at that. Look at that armor on kill. Watch. Boom. Woo! I love it. I love it. That's like immediate. Really good. Alright, reach the mission in. Uh oh. We finished it for this one. Jeez. And that was on Heroic with four directives. Just running through it with ease. Hell yeah. And then just a reminder, this is the Dark Winter with the King Breaker. We're using it with Perfect Spawner, One Piece Bellstone, Two Walk or uh, Two Hunter's Fury, sorry, One System Corruption, and the Ninja Bike. And with all of that said and done, we get 1.1 million armor on kill for everything. And that's on every weapon. I can switch all of my weapons around. We still get 1.1 million armor on kill, no matter what. I love it. Check it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care now. Bye-bye, Dan. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Peace. <laughs>